Have you ever looked at the sky and wondered why it looks blue? So sunshine white light and space is completely black. So why do you see the sky as blue? The secret actually lies in sunlight. Even though the sunlight looks white, it is really a mixture of all colors. Each of these colors has its own wavelength. Red has a long wavelength, while blue has a short one. Now, let's look at the chemistry. Earth's atmosphere is mostly made of nitrogen and oxygen molecules. It also contains small amounts of argon, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. When sunlight hits these molecules, they don't absorb the photons. They simply scatter them in different directions. This is called relay scattering. Molecules scatter short wavelength, like blue and violet, much more strongly. Since our eyes are less sensitive to violet light, we mostly see the sky as blue. Let's try a simple experiment. Take a glass of water and add a little white paint to make the light more visible. Then, stir it well. Now, shine a light into the mixture. The light scatters in different directions as it eats the paint particles in the water. This process is based on the same principle as when sunlight scatters of air molecules in the atmosphere. In other words, we are now observing a simple model of ray light scattering. But why does the sky turn red and orange at sunset? That's because sunlight has to pass through a secret layer of atmosphere that time. The short wavelengths, blue and violet, we have already been scattered away and don't reach our eyes. The longer wavelengths, red and orange, pass through more easily. So, we see the sunset in those colors. In space, however, there is no atmosphere. That means there are no molecules to scatter the light. The sun looks bright, but the sky stays completely black. So, the beautiful sky is actually a beautiful result of both physics and chemistry. The sun sends all the colors, but nitrogen and oxygen molecules in our atmosphere scatter blue light the most. That's why every time we look at the sky, we are really witnessing a little scientific wonder.